Hey everybody, Harry Transformed here again, and today I'm reviewing the Transformers TFCC Deluxe Class Nova Prime. Now you can see Nova Prime here does have a much fancier box than the previous TFCC figures I've reviewed. And it's actually a really nice looking box here, I mean, if we can just bring that in, you can see it says Transformers Timeline, Transformers Clutch Club Exclusive there, Nova Prime, and we actually have uh, all the uh, TFCC exclusives of the same mold all together. You have Nova Prime at the front, then you have the... Uh, Optimus Primal based on the Beast Wars 2 version of Optimus Primal where he was a lion. And then you have Galva Convoy, which I believe is a concept where Galvatron became a Prime. But yeah, they all look pretty good. I believe they all share the same sculpt, just with different colors. But I could be wrong about that. But they are all re molds of uh, Transformers doing 30 generations of Ryan Pax, who I do not have. But looking around the box, it's a pretty nice feeling box. It feels very nice, very thick. Look at the bottom, you get all the informational stuff, you know. Clutch Club Exclusive, Nova Prime Distribution, Manufacturer, blah blah blah. The side kind of looks like your stereotypical Transformers box, you know, you got like the detailed look at it and everything. Nothing along the back, but we do want to go ahead and open up the box. Come on. There we go. And here we have it sitting in the box, and there's, if wire saying there is actually enough room for both Nova Prime and, to, and uh, Lion, Lion Convoy is sitting there. You do got his technical card, which has a nice little bit of artwork of him. All about symbol there. You got his stats in his bio. You know, 10 plus and everything. Not really going to go over the bio here, but... Don't think the camera's going to focus on it, but I'm pretty sure you can look it up online somewhere. So we're going to just place that back on there. Has a nice little styrofoam. Just go ahead and pull... Uh, Nova Prime out of the box there. Set him down over here. Set the box to the side for now. Go ahead and close that all back up for now. And here we have Nova Prime. Let's go ahead and remove his weapons too. Now this Nova Prime is a bit of an interesting story. He's not really just a direct Nova Prime. He's really two other Nova Primes as far as what he represents. If anybody, if for all of you who know who Nova Prime is, you don't. We all know he's a truck with a big old trailer. I mean, he's the usual Prime you would expect. And another problem that we know is one who's been corrupted by a dead universe and now tries to spread the dead universe even further than it's already spread and everything. All that good stuff. Well, this Nova Prime represents two different versions depending on how you, how you want to look at it. For one thing, they could go the easy route of this is the Nova Prime from before he was corrupted. This is Nova Prime when he was still Nova Prime. Hence why he doesn't look all evil or crazy or bulked out. Or this could also be Shatterglass Nova Prime where of course he's a good guy. Oh, it's kind of hard to work on the shadow class thing since he still has the Autobot symbol and everything, so... Whichever way you want to look at it, he could be... Shadow Glass Nova Prime, he could be... Um, Pre-Dead Universe Nova Prime, whichever way you want to look at it. But looking at his vehicle mode, it is the same vehicle mode as Generations of Ryan Pax, but it is very much Nova Prime feeling, as he does have this very nice, smooth, curved kind of vehicle to his look in the comics. It does look really good, and it's all really well painted. I mean, for once, we actually get silver metal a metallic silver painted for the rims, and they do spin very well and look very nice. The back up here is done in black plastic with some gold highlights, which looks really good along the little grading effect. Get some black for the mechanical details here, so black and gold right there to break all that up. The bumper is done in a nice black, and so is the grill. Get some yellow for the he outer headlights and blue for the inner kind of grill headlights. You also get a little bit of yellow at the top here. One little dab of black to break up all that white, and that's about it. But it's all very nicely painted. Oh, and a little bit of gold here. And you can see inside the windshield, it's actually painted up with silver with a nice little Autobot decal on the inside of the windshield. So that all looks really nice. That like all honestly looks really nice. And for a size comparison, this is a deluxe. Here he is next to Classics Prime, who's a Voyager. And let's take a look at his accessories. He comes with this rifle, which is very much G1 Optimus inspired, considering this was originally Orion Pax. And he has this Energon Axe, which looks very good in this black and blue kind of color scheme. I really do like how this looks. You can actually combine the weapons, because there actually is like a little 5mm port right here at the, at, on one of the blades of the axe, so you could attach the two together, like so. And then you could attach the outer side, there's a pig hole abo above each back wheel right here, so. You could attach them and pretend the axe is a rifle as well, of some kind. So there is that. You could put the gun on the air side instead if you want. You know, however you want to attach it. I kind of like how this looks. But I do think he looks best without the weapons attached. So overall, nice looking vehicle. Let's get down to transformation. 
to start, you're going to grab the front bumper here, just flip it on the hinge. Then you're going to want to come to the back here, go ahead and unpeg it, all this at the back apart. Then you're going to want to come to the front here and split it outward like so. And it comes down like on a hinge like so. Separate the legs. Come to the bottom or underneath the vehicle where the wheel is. Bring this out on the double hinge or on a hinge and a ball joint. Turn it around. Now form one foot. Do the same on this side. Bring it down on the hinge. Bring it down further with the ball joint. Flip it around. Then you're going to take these chunks of the uh, front vehicle on the side. Bring it down once to fold in. Bring it in. And that will cover up the hollow part of his leg. You're going to do the same over here. Bring down this part of the shell. Bring over the front vehicle part of the shell to make his legs. It does make a rider, it does stick in his legs out and give him a rather nice shell covering them. Plus, it hides away the wheels and such. It all looks very good. Now, you're going to grab the waist, swivel it around. Go ahead and take the wheels and fold them on back. Then, come to the back here, split the top there. Bring the double hinges forward, and they'll actually peg over where the rear view mirrors are. Same on that side. Go ahead and pop this panel open, and it'll actually snap in place, and I'll reveal the head. With all that, you're going to want to make sure these wheels are tucked back as far as they'll go. With all that done, go ahead and take the chest that's on a double hinge here, bring it forward, and just kind of collapse it in, snap in place, bring the arms down, make sure the black panels are going towards the back. Then you're just going to flip out the fist. And there you have your TFCC Nova Prime. Oh, feel tab in there. That's the only part that really doesn't tab in well. But there you have your TFCC Nova Prime in his robot mode. Let me get the camera straightened out there. There we go. Alright, now that we have Nova Prime in his robot mode, let's go get comparisons out of the way. Here he is next to Classics Optimus, so you can see he is about deluxe size. So that kind of works for Orion Pax for original mold, maybe even Leo Convoy. I'll be honest, Deluxe Size does not work so well for me for Nova Prime. Considering even though this is not a dead universe evil prime, this is still supposed to be Nova Prime. He's still supposed to be a leader, big old strong leader. And he is rather small. I know it's kind of like TSCC's thing, just small, really cheap, easy to re release toys, but it does bother me a little. And because he is so small, let's go ahead and zoom in a little. A little bit more. There we go. Now you can actually get a look at him. But detail-wise, he does look pretty good. Um, his feet feet do have some gold on there. The legs are just the uh, vehicle kibble. The get a little bit of blue here along the little kind of belt line, and it is painted in white because it is black plastic, as you can see. A little bit of gold right there on the chest piece. Uh, the chest is the front of the vehicle, but it does make a very nice looking chest plate. Get a little, little bit of yellow here on the arrows because this was originally Ryan Pax. And then the face is nicely painted with the ears done in black, a little bit of yellow for the crest, blue for the eyes, and some black for the face plate. Very much a Cybertron Leader Optimus kind of face sculpt. He looks very similar to like Cybertron Leader Optimus in his combined up mode. So it does look pretty good. And from the back, not too great. I mean, he does have a hollow back syndrome, you guys can see. They do try to cover up quite a bit. It's a lot harder to tell than most figures because the wheels are all collapsed in, kind of covering up, but yeah. He does just have a hollow back going straight through. I mean, you know, you take the axe handle and it does go all the way in there. So that is rather unfortunate. But overall, the details on him are really nice. My only real complaint about him in robot mode is the proportions are kind of weird, as his head is rather small because they try to squish in the antennas and everything. Where on the original Ryan Pax toy, his head actually appeared a little bigger. It was the same size, but the proportions of the face were bigger, as it was the whole head. Well, here they squished the whole head into the same size, kind of thing, if that makes sense. Like, he's, he's supposed to have a much wider head, and it kind of squished into the proportions of a normal head, and it comes off of him having really tiny head syndrome. I mean, you could say it makes him look like he has a much bulkier body, but yeah, it kind of comes off similar to Kamara Wars Huffer, where he just has kind of a tiny head going. But we can help him with that by giving him some accessories. No real way to store him in this mode. The ports that were on his legs are now covered up, but... We can hold them. I mean, you can probably kind of just wedge them into the wheels if you want. But we're going to let them hold them. Gives them the nice big cannon, which looks really good. And, of course, big old axe. Like so. 
arming him up makes him look a lot more fierce, I'll be honest, especially with the big old gun. And the X is cool because he actually has a uh, hand articulation. You can actually get it to where he can hold it with both hands to where he's actually going to look like he's going for a big old slashing strike. Get the posability going. Let's wind this shot back out. You can see you can actually get like a really good kind of swinging pose going with both hands. And that does look really good. I really like that. I see why they chose this mold as it does have a lot of really nice articulation. Oh no, just notice on his uh, feet, he actually has these little booster details. That's pretty cool so you can actually get like some flying poses and have it look natural. So I made all these mentions of articulation. Let's go ahead and cover that. The head can swivel both ways, only a little bit. The arms do rotate. They do go out that far. You do get rotation at above the elbow. Get a 9 degree elbow and these little pieces can pop off. They're not particularly loose, but they can pop off. Um, hand can go inward and it can swivel, which is really nice for deluxe. And we still don't have leader classes, I always get that. Waist swivel, you do get a ball joint to the hips. And I really like how these hips are designed where the armor's out of the way. So you can get a full kind of spread going with the legs. Swivel, Nine, uh, just shy of 90 degree knees. And he does have ball joints and ankles, so you can have him go that far forward that far back. You can use the hinge to have him go further back if you want. And you can have some ankle tilt going so you can actually get the legs apart quite a bit like so. So yeah for Deluxe he has a lot of posability. My main gripes with him are you know I know a lot of people are not going to like the big hole in his back. I wish his arms picked him better because at least on my issue of the, my copy of the toy these don't tap it at all. You're really kind of just relying on how stiff the hinges are there to kind of hold in place. It's not going to flop around, but it isn't locked on there at all. And the head proportion bugs me a little. But the paint, the obscurity of the character, considering we have never gotten another Nova Prime toy outside of third party figures, and just the paint and just the articulation, this mold, I see why they chose this mold. I don't think he works for Deluxe, but I see why they chose this mold because he does have a fabulous amount of articulation. And plus the, robot, the vehicle mode does work really well for Nova Prime. And plus the accessories just work for him, you know, a gun and an axe is really good accessories for him. To be honest, I tend just to display him with this uh, axe. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, these pieces can slide off. I mean, as you saw me do them twice now, you know, they slide on like that. But if you slide them off both arms, so, and you're going to want to switch them around. So you take the right arm, the piece from the right arm, take it to his left side. This isn't an official or anything, but you can take it flip it around like this where the little tiny spikes are sticking up like so and just kind of wedge it in there. You can kind of use them to emulate uh, Nova Prime's wings because uh, after he joins the dead universe and becomes all evil in that, or not evil but dead universe supporter, you can actually, or Herald of the Dead Universe I guess, something like that, but you can actually kind of emulate his wings. I mean they're clearly not the wings and they're not, well I guess they kind of hold it, but they're not very strongly in there but it's close enough that if that kind of thing if that's the kind of thing you really want to kind of complete your Nova Prime you can do it it's not 100% perfect but you can do it plus it gets rid of the kibble off his arms yeah it's part forming but it's kind of cool that that actually kind of fits in I, I almost wonder if TFCC did that on purpose because the new people could pull that off or maybe it's just a coincidence but yeah that kind of adds to it too to be honest so overall I do think he's a good figure I don't think he's $50 good, as he's that's about how much he's going for. I got him on sale from the uh, Transformers Collector Club before it shut down for about 20 bucks. And if you can find him for like 20 or 30 I think he'll probably be worth it, as he does have really good articulation. But if Nova Prime's not your thing, I would say go for one of the other versions. Um, you can go for Galva Convoy, there's a Leo Convoy, or if you want to go for the cheapest option, there's a, the original Ryan Pax. All of them are good options from what I've seen. So pick your favorite and get this. Go out there and get this mold. As it is very much worth it. It is a very good mold. Lots of good articulation. The other ones also have really good paint. Even the Orion packs, as a, a general release, has really good paint and color scheme going. And yeah, they're just overall really awesome little mold. So this has been Nerd Transformed. I hope you enjoyed this review and hope you have a good day. Take care.